My name is Rajan Karan, a PC candidate for Fort Rouge. Also with me here today is Simas Aziz from St. Vital, Carrie Abad from Morden Winkler constituency. I'm a 30 year serving police officer with the Winnipeg Police Service. Every day, I see the realities of crime and violence in Winnipeg. We need a stable, experienced government willing to fight for safer streets in this province. As an investigator, I worked in our sex crimes unit. I also worked on Manitoba missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls cases. I saw firsthand the horrors that some women and girls have gone through in Manitoba. An individual who chokes their partner is seven times more likely to commit domestic violence related homicide. Victims of domestic and sexual violence live with the trauma that they have experienced for their entire lives. That impact does not have an expiry date. It lasts a lifetime. It astounds me that no other political party has come out to support these victims. Our PC party is the only party willing to stand up and support survivors. Women and girls need strong role models to look to in politics. That is why I am proud to be a progressive conservative. I am proud to run with a leader who will be the first elected woman in, pre in the Premier's office in Manitoba. I'm proud to run for a party willing to support victims and talk about the issues that many women are dealing openly. As an Indigenous woman, I'm Métis, and I'm proud to run for a party who's willing to defend, not defund, the police. I'd like to, to invite my friend and colleague, Kevin Klein, former chair of the Winnipeg Police Board, and the PC candidate for Kirkfield Park to the podium. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to Kirkfield Park. As you know, our PC team is the only party taking crime and safety seriously. Today we're going to talk about something that the NDP refuses to talk about, domestic violence. While the NDP ignore the issue, victims of domestic violence suffer in silence. They're afraid of coming forward, they're afraid to talk about it, and they're afraid of the stigma that gets attached to domestic violence. This issue is deeply personal for me. My mother was tragically murdered due to her partner's increasing violence towards her. And you heard my colleague Regine talk about choking. That's how my mother died. She was strangled. And for my mom, I hold a strong conviction that no woman uh, should endure such suffering in silence, and that the offenders are held accountable. It is imperative that we extend unwavering support to survivors as they embark on their path to recovery. We must ensure that those who find themselves trapped and without resources, that they have a safe haven to turn to. Reflecting on our personal experiences, I yearn for a world with more comprehensive support. I'm determined to prevent others from enduring that painful journey. The Progressive Conservatives remain steadfast in our commitment to championing the cause of crime and violence for victims. Domestic violence is something that all political parties should take seriously. I know my mom never left her violent relationship because she feared she didn't have enough money to survive on her own. She was afraid of being unable to provide a home. And sadly, she was fearful of what people would think of her as she spoke about it, even to her own siblings, something that I learned later in life. To reaffirm our commitment to stopping domestic violence, a re-elected progressive conservative government is committed to ensuring the safety and well-being of women and girls. We will invest $10 million to strengthen support and services for women in abusive relationships. The $10 million includes 
$5 million towards existing women's shelters to ensure that there is access to safe places for all women and girls all across Manitoba. The additional $5 million will be provided for violence and sexual assault counseling services and will add to the programs we already have in place and to support those that are offering services throughout our province. I want a government that listens to victims and walks the walk. And I will do everything I can to stand with victims. And I know Heather Stephenson, our leader, feels the exact same way. We will continue standing up for victims of crime and violence. Thank you. Questions?